Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. If you subscribe, please let me know if you're working on a channel. I'd love to check out your channel and support you as well. So, um, uh, and forgive me, this video won't be edited. My iMovie is crashing, so I uh, will try to talk fast and efficiently. Um, I did a video about a month ago with the Cause Box Fall 2018 unboxing, and uh, there was a lot of interest in that video, and I got a comment a couple days ago that was super helpful, and although I talked a lot about uh, the philanthropic work, a lot of the companies that Cause Box had, had collaborated with, um, and I didn't talk so much about the products themselves. I showed it to you, but I didn't go into the quality of the actual products. I was so impressed by all the charity work that was being done. I think it was maybe a little imbalanced. So I'll link that video um, above me right now. Um, but I also uh, wanted to do this video in response to that comment, letting you know a little bit more um, about the actual products. And I've actually used a couple of them. So I I can tell you the user experience. Um, I will get started um, with this bottle. I was very excited to get this. I had been looking into getting a water bottle. It is by Swell. Um, it was retailing for $45 and um, I really really like this. It keeps things cold. I have one drawback and I this is an issue with all water bottles. It's not just this one. I wanted something with a wider mouth here because I want to put ice cubes in it, so if I want to just fill my water bottle with ice water before I leave, um, it's my ice cubes don't fit right in here, um, so I have to actually hold my ice cube under the faucet to let it melt a little to get them in there, but that's the only drawback. It works just like it should work. It's a good water bottle, high quality water bottle. So that was that. I'm very happy about that one. Um, the second one uh, that I've used is this hair mask and it's by the company Natura Brazil and it's Brazilian. And um, I really like this hair mask. It's the best hair mask I've ever used. Mind you, I've only used four. This is the fourth one I've ever tried and the other three weren't high quality uh, luxury hair masks. The other three were a Trader Joe's hair mask, which was $3.99 for the tube, so that one worked like a $3.99 hair mask. It was okay. Um, and then I've used Shea Moisture. That's, um, that one's okay as well. There's a, there's like a hint in the scent that I, I dislike. It's like this hint of crayon or something. It, uh, the other hints in the scent of that one are fine. Anyway, this isn't a Shea Moisture review, but this is the best. Um, oh, and then the the, the other hair mask that I've used is the Nextavo one. I did a review on that one a long time ago. I will link above. <laughs> you will see it's an older YouTube video when I wasn't doing, um, uh, well, I don't do high quality ones now, but I was doing much less quality ones then, but I will show you that one. Um, anyway, so it's, it's, a nice hair mask. I like the way it makes my hair feel. There's probably better out there, but I do like it. Um, and the smell, it smells really, really nice. I really like the smell, and I am very um, particular about scents, <laughs> obviously with the Shea Moisture comment, but it has like um, kind of a sweet, fruity scent, but it's not overpowering. That scent can often be really overpowering for me, but it's not at all. It smells really good. Uh, so I like this hair mask a lot and I will use it up. I will probably ditch the Shea Moisture one. Um, I need to figure out a good way to donate half-used products. Um, if anyone knows, leave me a comment. I would love to uh, know that because I'm sure that if I take it to Goodwill, they're just going to toss them. So this next one, this was one of the things that this person really wanted to know a little bit more about. I've read really good things about this company. It's an eyeshadow palette, Real Her. It came with a nice little brush. Um, I am not the best to review makeup products. I don't wear too much makeup. That's uh, part of the problem. But I will say, and I also am going to get this, so I don't want to swatch it. But um, the brush feels nice. Uh, it feels very um, sturdy. The bristles aren't very flexible. I don't know if that's desirable in an eyeshadow brush. Um, but it, it, it looks it looks very, very nice. And then um, I'm going to gift this, so I don't want to swatch it. But I will. I did open it to make sure that it didn't crumble in shipment. And I want to open it without destroying this box. Okay. 
and I'm sorry, my iMovie is crashing, so you're going to have to suffer through this part of the video while I struggle to uh, get this open. Um, it comes with an er or insert that says, we here at Real Her donate a part of our proceeds to nonprofit organizations that help advance the lives of women and girls through scholarship programs, leadership, advocacy, education, and research here in the U.S. And I did talk about that in my last video. That was, again, what I focused on more than the actual products themselves. So this is what it looks like. It's really, it feels really high quality. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't feel plastic at all. I think it's like a high quality cardboard type material. Um, and then this is what it looks like inside. Nothing crumbled. Um, really beautiful shades. I think if I knew how to wear this, I might try it out. But I do have somebody in mind that I'm really excited to give this to. So I'm not going to swatch it. And I wouldn't be able to tell you if it felt nice anyway. I would just think, oh, yeah, sure, that's an eyeshadow. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's the eyeshadow palette. I hope that helps a little bit more. Um, and then another thing this person wanted to see, which I was curious about as well, was um, I didn't open the scarf. She wanted to see the size of the scarf. And I I actually wanted to find a little bit more information about the scarf so I'll show it to you first and then I'm going to read you a little bit more about the material and um, how it's made so this is the scarf it's a very good size scarf um, I yeah it's a very good size scarf and it looks like if I were to put it on it looks like this um, I'm not that that was user error that was not the scarf's fault um, yeah so it's, it's a very nice scarf the material feels really good I'm gonna gift this one as well but I decided to go ahead and open it it's still giftable open um, and I was also curious to feel the material anyway and so what I found with a little bit more information about how this scarf is made and what it's made of says Partha, Partha is the um, company owner. Partha shares the stories of the scarves in the fall cause box that directly contribute to funding camp tuition. We're doing two scarves. One of the scarves, the Malabar, comes from Kerala, India, which I've been to Kerala. It's in the south, the southern region. The fabric is woven from wooden looms in one of the most human parts of the world. It's comfortable cotton, so it's cotton, uh, that's easy on the skin and has been used for hundreds of years. This material is not normally used for a scarf, but it's something Madhu explored a few years ago, and we've loved it. It has small knots and imperfections that give it a lot of character. Imperfections is really just a sign of something being handmade. Um, so the scarf is very nice. Um, I'm excited and proud to gift this item as well. Uh, if Christmas, I mean, I would keep all of, I would keep these things, but you know, Christmas is here and I'm in the spirit of giving and all that. And then the last thing was this um, tote. And this tote is really, really, I can feel that it's well made. Um, at least the stitching is well made and it, and it seems very, very sturdy. Um, I'm going to be gifting this one as well to my new sister-in-law. Um, it very much looks like her. Um, it has, it's made of some sort of material that makes it, uh, forces it to hold its shape really well, which is also really nice. There's, it's canvas lines, but there's something else in it that really makes it hold its shape. It's not, you won't set it down, it will not collapse on you. So that's something that I really, really like about it as well. Um, and then, and then the last thing were these thank you notes, which are just standard just standard papyrus uh, thank you notes. They're not standard, actually. They're really high quality. They feel like they're that papyrus brand. They're, yeah, they're not standard. They're better than standard. They're very good. They're from a company called Paper Source that also had philanthropic associations. Again, if you want to learn more about that, check out my other video. Um, so anyway, I, um, I do, this is my favorite subscription box. Um, I'm also subscribed to FabFitFun. I like it better than FabFitFun because of... And I'll say it again, the philanthropic associations. Um, so that really excites me. Uh, the winner box, is, they're starting to get that together. That's why I really wanted to do this video for that person who pointed out, like, hey, can you tell us a little bit more about specifically the scarf and the eyeshadow palette? But um, it was such a helpful comment. Um, 
Anyway, so uh, I wanted to do this because um, if you're just working on deciding on whether or not you want to subscribe, I highly, highly recommend this company if you can afford it because of the philanthropic associations and you get some really nice high quality stuff that has beautiful stories attached to it. Uh, we are getting some spoiler notices about the winner box and I will, spoiler alert, I'm going to let you know that um, the first spoiler was just the design of the box, but the second spoiler we got this morning was um, uh, they're going to have a poncho, and it's going to be in three different styles, and it says the retail value on that poncho is $115, so Pulpin is really nice. I didn't read enough to know what the story is behind it, but um, yeah, so it's coming with a poncho, uh, if you if that helps your decision at all. I hope this was a helpful video. Um, let me know. I really, really, really appreciate any kind of constructive feedback. So um, yeah, anyway, have a good day. Bye.